The Tang Tin Tin Pretty Girl Saga is actually related to Surrounded by Idiots yeah. So watch this to the end uh, to know why you actually maybe uh, also got say Pretty Girl before eh. Here's everything you need to know about Presidential Candidate Tang Tin Tin is a Pretty Girl Saga uh, I'll simplify for you. Turn the CC if you don't understand my SSU Pretty Girl. So, so, uh, so, one day before nomination day uh, a news broke out uh, uh, a video that took screenshot of Tang Tin Tin's Facebook post in the past uh, went viral on TikTok and it's not Facebook post uh, of Tang Tin Tin uh, reviewing his NRIC so he'll be locked out of his sim pass uh, or of him uh, taking pass 857 uh, and then say he's in Manda. Those are Facebook posts uh, that make it to the news uh, but they are not the posts uh, that gained attention recently uh. now remember this point uh, those above mentioned points uh, got into the news uh, in the past just keep that in your mind uh, as you continue watching instead uh, people were focusing uh, on how he kept on saying uh, that he saw pretty girls in public mostly uh, his posts are just of him uh, saying he saw pretty girls uh, or that he didn't see pretty girls uh. he usually won't post images of the girl uh. very very occasionally uh, he would uh, or he would creep beat you uh, you know like this one uh. he just pan to the back uh, and then say got pretty girl now here's the thing uh, here's the thing if you know Tang King uh, you know he used Facebook uh, like how people born in the 1980s uh, use blogger uh, in their things uh, just anyhow wet what's in your mind uh, and I hope people will read you see uh, he actually does more than that uh, he also got post weird posts uh, about public transport uh, or the roads uh, and the school is one stupid uh, or how he uh, 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 drink herbal tea direct from the can instead of with a straw <laughs> Basically, uh, like your uncle in your WhatsApp group, uh, which you have put on mute. Uh, you see, uh, when he said that he might run for president, uh, I also got to do a video uh, about him uh, saying these uncleish things, uh, including how he will talk about pretty girls too. But no one cares, because eh? no one watched my videos. One. Now, uh, also keep this in your mind, because uh, that's also important to know later. Okay, so what happened uh, is that other than people feeling weird out from the pretty girl pose, uh, aware uh, also voice out their concerns. Uh. Aware uh, doesn't seem to be aware of the pose, uh, and it's only aware uh, after the viral TikTok pose uh, made them aware. Uh. Even the PEC, uh, the committee that issues a certificate of uh, isn't aware of the pose before that. Uh. Then everyone uh, is not aware. Uh, and then come a saga is built uh, when the saga is actually there all along. Uh. Tang King has responded angrily, uh, saying that they are light-hearted posts uh, and then see no wrong uh, in his posts. But he apologized to people uh, who might find uncomfortable. Here's the thing, uh, here's the thing. How can a non-saga uh, become a saga? Uh? Cause if you follow his Facebook page, uh, you know his pattern one. Uh. In fact, uh, someone in the bus uh, even asked him about it. Uh. He also admitted uh, that adding the words pretty girl uh, will lead to higher reach on Facebook. So is it because people weren't aware or is it something even darker? Cause I want to sound educated. Uh. So let me show you this book. Uh, uh, surrounded by idiots. I like this book because uh, I can relate to it. Uh. Although I see all the books written by the writer, uh, then I start to wonder uh, if the writer uh, is the one having the problems. Uh. But anyways, uh, there are many other books uh, that talk about this issue. Uh, but because this is the most popular one, uh, I show here. Uh, basically, uh, some of us uh, like to say this. Uh, hey, I am like that one. Uh, you're not happy. Uh, you don't work with me. Uh. So uh, that uh, is to show how authentic and real you are. Uh, and uh, nothing uh, can make you become fake fake one. Wow, sound very macho, yeah. sound very good, yeah. sound very real, yeah. but I bold, uh, you say that you already fake fake uh. You see, uh, you can say anything you want, uh, but the fact is that uh, no matter what, uh, we always must adjust uh, how we conduct ourselves uh, in different settings. Uh. There's no one size fit all for our conduct. Uh. For example, uh, some sucky people uh, say they're very real, uh, can only speak in a certain way, very real. Wow, so man, uh, so abeng. Uh. You see how they talk to their boss, uh, you see, uh, you see uh, like how I talk to my boss and my wife, uh, very different one. Uh. When I talk to my boss, uh, I'm a rabbit. When I talk to my wife, uh, I'm a shukka buka kika kuki kaki shakka FBI, open up! Sometimes uh, we know we have changed our conduct. Uh. Sometimes uh, we subconsciously do so uh, to fulfill our objective. A good example uh, would be a teacher. Uh. You think they all like to speak standard English, man? Another uh, is a parent. Uh. So what has this got to do with Tam King Yang? Eh? You see, uh, before he became a presidential candidate, uh, his conduct uh, didn't become a saga uh, as it's kind of acceptable uh, to some people. Uh, some, uh, your uncle uh, also do that one. Uh. But after he became one, uh, his conduct uh, isn't acceptable because uh, the president uh, is supposed to be a symbol. Eh? So this is why uh, no one cares about his pretty girl post before that. Instead, uh, his other supposedly more serious post uh, got into the news instead. But now, uh, everyone cares about this pretty girl post because uh, it's like uh, his conduct towards Singaporeans uh, must suddenly be different. Uh. I know you're confused, uh, but just know this uh, or just know this. Uh. Lucky PEC didn't know about this. If not, I'll probably hold it nearly in the night. Uh. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, download our app uh, to know more uh, and also subscribe to us uh, and watch this video uh, to know more about the presidential election campaign. Uh.